file groups have many advantages. Let's say the four data files you see on the left, the D through the G drive, were for production, and you wanted to change all of the properties at once. You'll have a file group one, and you can manage all of those files in that file group at one time. And we'll put these other data files in file group two. Now we learned a little about log files. Data files have an MDF and NDF extension, and they contain all of your data objects and all of the information for use by the SQL Server. Now, what if you wanted to know what data was changed an hour ago? Well, your log file has been logging all the changes and all the data that's been coming in. So SQL keeps a history of its recent changes in an LDF or log data file. Mm -hmm.